What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are here in South Georgia. Let me introduce you guys. Mr. Jason right here, Yeti, Ma Yeti Man 10 on Instagram. Yep, yep, name for the dog. There you go. And we got my brother, Tyler, Ty Ty Ints on Instagram. You guys right here. This will be my first time ever on a pontoon boat. Believe it or not. I, I just thought about it when I walked on. So we are here at the Stanley Traditions Lodge. This place is absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is Disney World for outdoor people. I'm gonna get into the lodge later in the video as well, but if you wanna do any big corporate events, meetings, hunting, just anything outdoors, they have horseback riding, canoeing, kayaking. This is the place. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm just in shock with just everything going on. My brain is so overstimulated. You guys, check out right here. There are these birds in these little man-made nests. You guys can see them up there. So a fun fact is Jason actually told me that those birds eat how many mosquitoes a day? 2,000, 2,000 mosquitoes a day, yeah. 2,000, we need those birds in Florida, like really bad. 2,000 mosquitoes a day. And there's easily 25 birds up there. But the goal today is to go bass fishing. Later this evening, we're gonna go crappie fishing, but that's gonna be a completely um, separate video. We're actually gonna have the owners, RT and Diane, crappie fish with us later. Um, I met RT last night. He's an amazing human, and I'll get to meet his wife, Diane, later today as well. But right now, we're gonna load up the pontoon boat, get on the water, and hopefully catch some pretty big bass. It's time to catch us some bass. I just cast it up near this uh, running water right here and there's been a bass, probably a little one, busting at the surface at these little like minnows or small fish. The minnows were jumping around that right yeah. when we pulled up. Yeah, but they'll they'll lay there and kind of ambush. So we're gonna go to a couple spots with all this rain that we got fresh water coming in. Alright, one more cast. And this water runoff is from out of the fields. fields. I mean that's a lot of water. <laughs> that is a lot of water coming off. Wait till we get to the upper end. So the, this uh, watershed for this lake is like 2,000 inches. There we go. Little guy. That's him though. <laughs> it might not even be a bass. Yeah, it is. Listen, we're starting off small this morning. But this was the little guy that I was over there messing with my, with my lure every time I cast over there. Check that out. This is on chatterbait, wait, uh, spinnerbait. So as you guys can see, we didn't go very far. The lodge is literally right there. So anytime there's any running water coming into a freshwater lake or pond, it pushes that bait around and the fish love to hang out around there just to ambush their food. Ready to go, little guy? He's perfect fish, uh, fish tank size. So we're just taking the pontoon boat and just moseying around the edges of this pond right here. When I came in, I had to drive on this skinny driveway. It's really just like a massive sidewalk. And I was not gonna lie, a little spooked to drive over this bridge. But hopefully there's some fish under it. Tyler, cast that thing out there. What you got? Right oh, now I got me. You got a little hook? <laughs> so I did stop by Bass Pro before heading here and just stocked up on a bunch of random lures just to see which one is going to work best. It is pretty overcast right now, so we're going to play with a few different type of lures. Just went out in the water. Whoa, look how pretty. It's almost like purpley. What did I tell you? They're getting bigger and bigger every cast. You gotta be super careful with double treble hooks on your lure. Let me get my pliers real quick. Now I'm not gonna lie, I am not a bass fisherman. I probably catch bass like three times a year just for fun. And I normally just go buy some shiners cause you know, live bait rules. Um, but today we're just using a bunch of different lures. But check him out. Ooh, he's a little chunky. So for this largemouth bass, we use a crankbait, which Tyler, behind the camera, my brother, actually picked this color out from Bass Pro. It was like three for 10 bucks. All right, go back home. So we're gonna fish around this wood duck box. As you guys can see here, I'll zoom in to it with my phone for you guys. A duck fits in that tiny little hole in that box? Yeah, two ducks. What in the world? I've never seen this before. How cool is that? So wood ducks will go in there and nest and lay their eggs in this box. It's a nice, nice little safe haven for them. 
and then there's this black ring around the post and that helps with snakes climbing up the post getting into the box and eating the eggs so that's pretty neat i'm learning so much i'm learning so much of the the marvin the martin the martin, martin the martin birds that eat mosquitoes the wood duck box this is so cool so i'm switching out my spinner bait right now i'm going to use this let's see x wrap prop 11 or 2 rapala i actually bought this for columbia never used it in columbia because it was way too small to use there so i'm going to test it out here he's got two little props on the front and back triple treble hook so if I don't hook a fish with triple treble hooks... Wow, I love bass fishing. Catch, Cal. Well, three treble hooks will sure, surely catch you a tree, I'll tell you that right now. Hello, my friend. Good Hello. morning, Mr. Vince. Alright, you guys, so we just met up with Vince, which is uh, one of RT's sons. And we're going to go ahead and switch boats because Vince was telling us that we're in like the party boat right now and all the bass do not like to party. So we're gonna switch over to his beautiful bass boat right here to see if we can't catch some more bass. Apparently the pontoon's what, a little too loud in the water? Too loud, a little too tall, a little too big. We're going stealth. We're going stealth. That's right. And goosey come with us. I know, look at the, these dogs are so cute. Hi, miss. Hi, honey. We got X over there and we got pine cone dog right here. Jason said, if you throw this dog a pine cone, you, be become your best friend. <laughs> hours. you better be ready to throw a pine cone for a couple hours. The goose Welcome. is loose. The goose, goose is loose. Hi, goose. Oh, you are so get cute. Any, hey, get your rigs. Go ahead and transfer it over. Okay. I'll get you a pole piece. All right, we're going to get all of our gear and transfer over to the bass boat. Oh my god. There's like two. A, that's, a, that's, a that's, moccasin. that's not a moccasin, homie. This there's, is two, water, there's two. That's a water snake. 110% sure? There's two or three of them. Okay. I'm 110% sure. You guys. That's a water right, hold snake. Hold on. <laughs> there's two snakes huddled in the back of this boat right now. Okay. We'll help them out. Here's the biggest thing. Oh, that's so cool. We're glad that my wife is not here at this time. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we're happy about right now. But this is all part of trauma. You get to see it all, the good, the bad, Check and the out. ugly. Right? That's actually mm. perfect. Okay, good. What kind of snake do you think that That's is? That's a water snake. Are they poisonous? Yeah. No. No? So, you see his eyes? Mm. You see he has the round pupil. Okay. He doesn't have the cat shape. Like, yes. So can I catch this snake? I mean, I'm not going to catch the snake. I don't recommend. All I say is, if, is it poisonous? Uh, I mean, I say it's a box. It is not a moccasin. Uh, Alright, there's too many questions. I can't catch it. <laughs> so that's a male and a female? Yeah. By the way, yeah. Small, yeah. But let me evacuate. I'll get the snake out, Vince. Look at him. Oh, you sure? Yeah, I'll get him. I, I got a little predator thing that you just grabbed him. Okay, yeah, I'll bring that. Just call X over there and take care of it for us. That is hilarious. How cool is that? He's just chilling with his girlfriend. Yeah, they're just huddling up, warming up in the winter. The winter out here. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw him, I was like, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Sweet. I thought it was like to scare off like animals in the boat, and then I looked, I'm like, no, that's a real snake. <laughs> I do, I'd ease off about a foot and a half. You know, you see how long, it, hey, you see how long this is? That's exactly how far I would back off. Let me see. All right, back up a little bit now. Hey, let's get that cool out of your way so you know you don't trip and go swimming. Oh, well, I, I not trip. I just want to see. Easy now, you need to get that head now. There's two. It'll be real easy. Nice. What if I grab them both it's at the same time? You this. I'm telling you this. So that's he thinks it's a water moccasin. Can you please back up a little bit? <laughs> oh. Okay, that's good. That was good. We got one. All right, try to push this tail on out. Probably Kelly. with that. We can't that right there. There you go. We'll play it safe, okay? Watch that left hand, please. Please watch that left hand. Do you see that that? Goodness gracious, girl. I'm telling you that is for sure a moccasin. Yeah, right I, there, I think it is. In my mind, that is a moccasin. So All right, you guys. Let's control him very good right there. Yeah. I got him right here. Okay. You guys, take a look at this snake, and if you know in the comments below what type of snake this is, Jason thinks it's a water snake. I wouldn't let him bite me. Vince thinks it's a water moccasin. I have no idea what kind of snake this is, honestly. I ain't gonna lie. His girlfriend went overboard. No, she's still wrapped around. Is she? Yeah. Ooh. All right. Be careful how you let that go. Yeah, you ready? I'm gonna throw them in the water. Yeah, yeah. One, two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Yay! Yay! Good job! Is the other one going? You are hey, 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 hey I'm a nuts. follower. Yeah, I am a follower. Subscribe. That was cool. That was fun. 93%. 93 percent i can't wait what you need to do with that right there you need to get a poll going and i mean get you some dnr folks in on that because they're gonna say kelly miss stupid right here absolutely <laughs> absolutely <Michael. laughs> dumb ways to <laughs> die <laughs> right, three minutes oh it's just rolled right in front of us yeah well, yeah captain ben's over here with his protein oats healthy breakfast Catching mysterious snakes to start off the That's day. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm nervous in the back of the boat. I'm not. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. When I had it in my hand and they were all spooked, I got a little shaky. I was like, "Oh crap." <laughs> we call that value added. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, Come on, goose. Come on, goose. Let's go, buddy. Come on, goose. Oh. Mm -hmm. Come see me, goose. Come on, buddy. Oh. I'm a boy. That's my snake. That's my snake protector. Come on, Goose. <laughs> Let's go, but that osprey's gonna come and eat him. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what he looks like? He looks like a little nutrient rat. Come on, right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> that osprey's about to get him for real. <laughs> come on, buddy. Have you guys ever seen nutrient rats when got... they swim in the water? <laughs> oh, yeah. What they look like. There's some bass in there big enough to eat that. Come here, Goose. Come on, buddy. Right here. I'll get you. I'll get you, old boy. Come on. Come on. That's right. Come on. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. Ah. Come on, Goose. Come on, Goose. Come on, Goose. Come on, Goose. Goose is like, y'all killing me, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, that, hey, you should, you should swing I on him. Yeah, because he didn't, know. he tried to drown you, old boy. <laughs> That's right, he's going to drown you. That's what he gets. That's right, you're getting all choked like, up. Oh, That's my boy. That's good boy. I wonder if he's going to swim over here. Vincent. Kill him. Let's that's find gonna, out. That's going to be our good luck charm. Tyler. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Remember when you were asking what about the, the labels and the uh, tackle boxes a minute ago? Oh, yeah. Oh. Did y'all? Yeah, we got yeah. a little bass. All right. Got one. Bring right here to come see me. Hey, little fella. I like it. Boy, he tried to eat that. When, you, when the... When the lake is stained, they will get that lighter color on it. I'm going to play it safe and get these pliers. Yeah, you don't want to mess with the treble hooks sometimes. That's right. And it's a lot easier on the fish. <laughs> Dang! That's how you do it, right there. <laughs> That's that was the good. ultimate like you better get ready. <laughs> that was the ultimate presentation on how to use a lure. That's how you do it. Mm. That's a good one too. Oh yeah, good fish. Goose, this fish might be your size, buddy. Woo! <laughs> He's got some. Oh, we got you now, Dad. Wow, look at, look at that. that belly on that guy. Look at that goose. So we just switched our baits from a crankbait to a floater, and he was just telling me, you know, how to work it. Because I'm not really trap. used to using floating rattle trap. Lures yeah. too much. Yeah. A floating rattle trap. Right there. Literally, this lure's been in the water for like eight seconds. And he hooked up. You guys just saw all that go down. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Big female. See, she's getting ready to lay some eggs in the next probably 10 days. Oh, with that belly right there? Mm-hmm. Check her out. We gotta get some pictures with this girl. How much do you think this bass weighs? Uh three and a half pounds. Three and a half pounds? Dang, my biggest bass was definitely not eight pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad with the weights of fish. There we go, big girl. There we go. Thanks, love. That was funny. Nice. What the heck? Nice. Hey, good job, Vince. Nice. Can you give us another tutorial? <laughs> let me try. Let me try. <laughs> I mean, it was like, tink, tink, and he'll. <laughs> That was great, that was great. The one thing I can say about storms and fish is one time I was diving in Miami spearfishing, and you guys already know spearfishing is my thing, is a bad storm was rolling in, we were in the water, and I noticed three black grouper, and normally black grouper are like under ledges or just super spooky. Three black grouper were sitting on top of the reef, as dumb as could be. And I don't know if it was the pressure with the storm coming in or what, but it was just a very interesting thing to see. 
and that just the storm coming in right now just randomly reminded me of those black groupers sitting on the reef. Needless to say, they were super easy to spear. Hello. Is that the lightning? Hello. Oh, yeah, we're, up, we're up on a log uh, right hard. now. <laughs> <laughs> And we hit it going 20. And we hit it going 20. Good. Yeah. We're literally, what is it on? Stump. That was a big stump. A big old stump or something. What? All right, that's kind of a bit shake. It's under us. It's kind of a float. There we go. Maybe we're off. Go down. Oh. There you go. Real easy. And pull they your, trim up pull a little bit. Pull I think pull we should reverse. Motor. Back in reverse. This one. Yep, trimmed up. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think we're gonna head in now. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys, we gotta get off this log right now, but it is starting to pour and we're gonna run back to camp and eat some breakfast. Hopefully this rain don't last too long though. Are you going back? Good. All right. We gotta put all our stuff away and we'll see y'all back at the lodge. I know I asked this about 12 times. Is this deer meat? That is deer meat. Jason this brought is, us this is a hybrid. This is a hybrid. This is Jeff Barron's recipe. Okay. Yeah, it's Jeff Barron's seasoning that he uses. But yeah, this is just Jason's recipe on Jeff's, Jason's spin on Jeff's recipe. Okay, so if you guys don't know who Jeff Barron is, it's Hannah Barron's dad. Um, she's also a really big YouTuber out in Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, she's the girl who does a lot of catfish noodling. I know I've been seeing a lot. I've been seeing a lot of comments in my comment section about me wanting to go or me pretty much collaborating with Hannah to do a catfish video because that's that's one thing I haven't done yet is noodle a catfish. One day I will get out there and do it. Um, but we got some breakfast. We got some eggs. We got some deer meat, and we got some fruit. You guys, when we were running in, I wish I would have had the camera rolling. <laughs> one, it started pouring down rain. And the biggest thunder lightning, whatever you want to call it, just cracked down when we're on the water. And it's actually really spooky to be on a bass boat in the middle of the water Come on. when it's lightning. This is a good deer sausage. Yeah, is it too hot? Let's see. Do that. Take this Get mini plate. one right here. We're about to say blessing. Y'all ready? <laughs> oh, and blessing. And then I'll get orange right. juice and that sort of thing. I'm learning. We're going to we're gonna say the blessing before we eat breakfast. And <laughs> we had to put some of our clothes in the dryer because we got poured on. <laughs> You ready? Set a blessing for me. Yes, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Jesus, we thank you for these all many blessings. Bless this food and nourish our bodies and us our service. And thank, we thank you for our new twin friends here today, Jesus. And we thank you for sparing us the lightning strike. We love you. We thank you for these wonderful outdoors. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> that was awesome. <sighs> you like that deer sausage? Loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Here, we got to get it. I got some. That was good. Right here. Let's see. I'm really good. Put that on the eggs. I know that's too big. Um, All right, y'all. We're about to dig in, need some breakfast. Right here. We'll see y'all back and out on the lake this. bass fishing. Impromptu Hopefully, stuff. I really love to bass fish after raining, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise. We'll see. Right. So we're sneaking up right here on some wax myrtle on this brush right here. The pioneers used to take this wax myrtle and they would mix it in with their candle to have a good scent and it would also deter the bugs. So, let's get just a little bit. A wax myrtle? Nope. Wax myrtle. Oh, cool. You mixed it in with your wax. I'm about to start me a candle business. Now, give that a smell. It might smell a little Check bit like up. fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, smell it smells that? so good. Doesn't it? So they'd mix that in with their candles and it deter the scare I'm off the. I'm trying to think of what it smells like. Hold on. We're in the we're in the wax. We're in the wax myrtle. We're in the wax myrtle. Goose is like, get us out of there, Daddy. I'm trying to think of what it's what it smells like, and I can't pinpoint it, but I've definitely smelled that smell before. Mm -hmm. It's very citronella. Citronella. Yeah, like a light light citronella, yep. but kind of like a citrusy vibe to it too. That's mm -hmm. really cool. I like it. It's so refreshing. Yeah, it really is. All right. Yes. Nope. Oh, he yeah. ate it. Oh, he ate it. I saw him just eating it. He was eating. That means when you see that right there, that means big fish was here. He even wrote that. Big, big fish was here. Big fish was here. <laughs> oh, you got it, girl. Yes. 
Good fish. Woo. Good fish. Get on over here. And he is a caught fish. Yes, Yay. finally. Woo. Yay, good job. So you guys, this is my really first time experiencing fishing with a worm, and it is a lot different than using lures. Um, the first time probably around right over here, I felt something like almost grab the worm. It almost felt like someone just stepped on my worm and I was kind of tugging a little bit, not thinking it was snagged and I'm like, it was too late. I tried to set the hook and uh, that fish was gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's a chunky one. Good job. A zoom worm. All right, you ready little guy? Let's watch this bank here. Yeah, bank's headed for your trolling motor. Yep. Beautiful. beautiful, beautiful, sweet. I tell you what, that one I lost though. Yeah. <laughs> She's learning. She's learning a lot learning about bass fishing fast, isn't she? Good fish. Good fish. That's oh, always a good know. sign. You see how that's in the top of his lip? Yep. That's a hard area right there, so he's usually never coming off when you do that. Yeah. Sick. That was so random. We just I pitched it in literally, boom, smacked it just like that. We're gonna put him in the live well and take some photos with him later. Same worm too. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, Way to recycle. Let me reel this up real quick. Hey, this is what I'm here <laughs> <All> for. <right. laughs> I'm here for you. Yeah. Same worm right there. Now it just poured down rain. It's a little bit overcast, but we do have some sun shine through the clouds right there and this worm has been really doing the trick today. Right, let's put them in the live well. Oh yeah. Big mama and little one. Oh, ah! <laughs> Thank you. That Thank was you like for a my third shower of the day. <laughs> third, shower. It, yeah. third shower of the day. Hey you There's didn't close it fast here. enough, yeah. not me. <laughs> Sorry, you ate your tail right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, see how that little brim ate your tail off just Oh a yeah, so before I caught that fish, this little brim or a little bluegill or something came up. It was nibbling on my on my tail right there and he sure did nibble away. Good fish, enjoy that. Good yeah. <laughs> oh, under the boat. Yeah. That. He came back and got it, didn't he? He did come back and get it. Yes, sir. Great. Great job. You got him? Oh, I'm going to. Open up. Hi. Here we are. <laughs> Open the mouth. Yeah. Wow. Good Sweet. fish. Good nice. fish. Nice. Solid <laughs> fish to end this little fishing session. Yeah, yeah. You guys, I just pitched over near this tree right here and I bumped up that worm a couple times. And I should have let the worm just sit there for like two more seconds so the bass could eat it, but I got excited and tried to set the hook, so I pulled the worm out of his mouth. And then luckily, I don't, yeah, I don't think we spooked them too much. Um, so I repitched the bait and he took it immediately. Good fish. Yeah, good, good fish. fish. Great job. Have to do a little me, surgery on here. Yeah, let me take over for you. Yep. Go ahead and take that. All right. Oh. Thank you. We're going to clean up the boat from bass fishing right now. And what they do is they set out these big catfish traps, I guess I could say. And um, I think it's for pond management because catfish, what, do they eat eggs or something? Well, catfish is just another predator, uh, apex predator. And what happened is, is our bass population got down for a little while. Our pond actually flipped over. The thermocline the, is a separation between oxygen and night. So in August, 90 days of heat straight, it was down low, it flipped, killed a lot of big bass. This was probably five years ago. And then the catfish took over. So okay. we're now getting the catfish out. We took over 6,000 pounds of catfish out last year. So going to get them in check. What kind of catfish are they? Just Mostly channel cat. Channel cat. Almost all channel cat, but a few blues in there too. Oh, blue cat, like blue catfish, like the ones you eat? That's exactly right. Good to eat. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm not a huge fan of fried food, but I love me some blue catfish. So we'll good. get some. <laughs> we're going to pull a trap just to show you guys what it looks like and see if there's a lot of catfish in it or not. And then we're going to set the trap back in the water to continue trapping catfish. Um, and then we're going to wrap up this video. I'm going to fly the drone and take you guys over the onion field so this whole lodge and just everything around this company and the family is all built up purely on Vidalia good enough <laughs> good enough <laughs> good enough Vidalia Vidalia Vidalia, Vidalia. 
Vidalia onions. The fields are absolutely beautiful, you guys. I'm gonna show you guys that right when we're done pulling the catfish traps. So these buoys right here mark these big catfish traps. Yeah, that's gonna probably just pull oh. us around. How big are, are they? Are they huge? These huge? are these are hoop, these hoop are called nets. hoop nets. That's right. Hoop nets. Uh -huh. hoop net. This is a Lucy uh, Cajun thing. Yeah, hoop that's right. They it, put them in all the rivers. Yeah. Is it like a gill net? No, it's like okay. a big round barrel. Net. Oh. This is always exciting. I know. I'm so excited to see this. Don't worry about the boat, Jason. I'll oh, get it What you want up. me to do? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I see. Let's see if you've got that PVC. So they got PVC pipes running down the net yep. with a big and loop. That, and that's menhaden. That? A manhaden. Yep. Some type of bait fish. Bait. Okay. Oh my goodness, this let's thing's keep, huge. Let's keep coming up. Can you keep coming up? Uh -oh. Nothing in it except one catfish. One catfish. All right. catfish. Let's drop it. They just set these out. Yep. So the thing is, is this too is he was uh he was he used some of this bait earlier and then he changed over to a meal i think he might need to move back to the meal let's go check one more all right we'll check another one yeah, we got to go to the pontoon boat anyway right yeah, yeah so if you guys ever fish and use chum and use that man manhaden oil that's the fish it comes from it stinks we're gonna go ahead and pull up the other one too just to see if there's any catfish in it it's actually a really good sign that we we didn't get a lot of catfish because what happens is the catfish eat a lot of the bait fish that the big bass eat and they want this pond to be just full of nice healthy big largemouth bass and white perch and white perch aka crappie aka speck <laughs> you'll be surprised down in florida like if you say speck or crappie like vice versa which one like you'll get made fun of by the other person if they say the other name if that makes any sense really yeah, because I say crappie, but then people are like, oh, it's speck fishing. Oh, yeah. Like, crappie fishing, speck fishing. Duck season. Duck season, rabbit season, fire. <laughs> Come here, duck. Let's see what we got. You're a little better. Oh, well, I'm seeing less bait fish. Oh, oh here we go. What do we got? Oh. Oh. Whoa! This one's full of catfish. A lot of cats. There we yeah. go. And now I just took another shot. <laughs> that was called a fish shot. Oh, fish shot. <laughs> Moose, wow. what in the world was that? So that? maybe we don't have the population where we yeah, need right, to be. Yeah, right, quite. We're Listen, getting there. That, We're getting there. That Working half of the progress. pond is good. This half of the pond yeah, needs some needs work. Yeah, needs some work. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. But That's we know crazy. where we can come get supper. <laughs> Just in case. Oh yeah, just in case. Oh my gosh, that was cool. That was pretty cool. As we're wrapping up this bass fishing video here at the Stanley Traditions, I want to give you guys a little bit of a backstory around where this lodge came from. Artie and Diane built this beautiful lodge for friends and family, but are now opening it up to the public. If you guys ever see onions at Walmart, Trader Joe's, in Bush's Baked Beans, or on Domino's Pizza, all of those onions are coming from right here in South Georgia at the Stanley Farms. Be sure to check out any link in the description below this video for more information. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time. See ya!